When my father founded the Sheraton Hotels, it was in the 1930s. Actually, he was a co-founder. His roommate from college was his, his co-founder. In the 1930s, hotels were going bankrupt right and left. Everybody was trying to get out of them as fast as they could. But they started, and they built the whole entire Sheraton chain, uh, at least from the beginning, out of bankruptcies. Now, how can you turn a bankrupt hotel around and father had a secret sauce. The secret sauce was when he, when he would take over a hotel, the first day that he had ownership, he'd ask all the employees to come into the ballroom of the hotel. And I think you'd be surprised how many behind the scenes people there are in a hotel. I mean, frequently it might be 800 people. And father was a shy man, so this was difficult for him, but he believed in what I'm about to describe. Father would assemble all these people and he'd stand up in front of them knowing that it was a totally demoralized bunch because normally if there's been a bankruptcy, there's gonna be house cleaning and there's gonna be fresh people put in. But father would stand up in front of all of them and he'd tell them, every one of you gets to keep your job. And the reason you get to keep your job is, you know this hotel better than anybody else. And I believe in you. I know that you can make this hotel better than it's ever been, and in two or three years, it's gonna be the most ho popular hotel in the city. Imagine what that must mean to people. And in the end, it was carried out, but he did have one step further because it wasn't just all talk. The first money that he'd ever spend when he was taking over a hotel, and if the hotel's been in bankruptcy, it's gonna lead a lot of refurbishing. And you would think that, that it would be the guest rooms or the public rooms. No, the first money that he ever spent was in the rooms that would never be seen by the guests. It would be only seen by and used by the employees. We had a decorator, she was, her name was Mary Kennedy, and she was really pretty famous in the industry at the time because she won prizes all over the place. And father would tell Mary Kennedy, upgrade the employee parts first. Father believed that people have a compulsion to live up to or down to your expectations. And when he told them, you know, I believe in you, you're going to make this hotel the best in the whole city, and my entire job uh, as the new owner is either to get out of your way to doing the best job you can or giving you the resources that you can. And ladies and gentlemen, that was one of the biggest aspects of, of what made him a success.